Awesome. Hello everyone. This is Yash here from Shardium Foundation and welcome to another episode of Tap Library. Um this is the 14th episode of this edition and uh, we are here with Shardex. So William is here from Shardex and he'll be taking us through the platform Shardex and how has been the how has been the response for Shardex. So uh, I think uh, yeah Hi William how are you what are you doing and tell us about yourself I think too many questions there but yeah Yeah uh hi everyone my name is William I'm very fired up uh and uh, very excited to kind of share Shardex with you guys uh and I'm the head of the community in Shardex uh, I've been into crypto for 3 years uh yeah, I used to working for uh web2 companies but I found the potential of web3 and I joined the uh, an exchange uh 2 years ago right now I'm building Shardex Shardex full time uh I'm ready to I'm already to, like ready to share what Shardex is with you guys um so Shardex is a brand new uh decentralized exchange uh, on Shardium and actually it's a one stop exchange uh, that means you can find many functions that you can find elsewhere like on other blockchain on other dex that we provide the with uh to users and we aims to provide users with the best on chain asset trading experience uh, i hope that the content i share today will inspire you uh somehow and hopefully you can feel shardex is the next potential uh for you to you know try it out and we are on testing that as well mm mm-hmm. so as as i can see and i've already gone through uh, shardex shardex is an all all in one uh platform for everyone right it's just not uh, it's just not a simple desk dex but also you get to have nfts and uh bridging lending solutions and many more things so can you tell us more about that sure actually i want to share my screen for a little bit mm-hmm. uh, i have sure. prepared a as i have prepared a um a doc and i have already sent that in the test in the chat you guys can see the Uh, out on your own device um, as well. Yeah. But if you can see my screen, actually, I open up here for you guys. Um, to basically goes to what Shardex provide. We are a one stop solution on chain because you know, uh, one thing I found interesting or not uh, uh, not very comfortable when I uh using DApps is when I try to you know buy tokens by MTs, I need to go to different DApps. For example, if you are on Ethereum, right? um you need to go to uniswap to swap tokens you need to go to uh, open sea to buy nfts and you need to go to curve or compound to stake your token uh, and you need to go to uh the other protocols to the lendings and you need to go to other protocols to uh find some new projects to do launch pad right but within shardex you can find all this uh options in one single dap uh because we think the ultimate version of dap is a dap that can provide multiple services for users as most of the you know services can be actually can be provided within one single dap and to kind of share what shadex provide right uh for dag for the bridge uh it, it is already live on the testnet uh, you can actually try it out now but it's not open for everyone you need to claim sobon token before you you know try the bridge uh, and for the swap function it's open to everyone and for the bridge uh, we are now offer the bridge uh, from Ethereum BNB chain Polygon Lunch and Phantom to Shardium uh, and you can you know kind of bridge the stablecoin token and also Ethereum and Bitcoin from other chains to Shardium and within the first 3 months it will be uh their fees their fees on the mainnet by the way now it's still on the testnet so you will be able to test it out second function is uh the most used function uh, is called swap or exchange on chain which means that you can kind of swap one token for another one and if you don't want to swap or you want to kind of manage your assets on chain and do some yields you can also provide liquidity to 
swap. Um, that's called AMM, a system where you uh, basically provide liquidity to trading pairs. And when other people uh, do the trading, uh, uh, when other people swap, you will earn some, you know, uh, fees uh, while you providing the liquidity. So that's the service we provide as well. And thirdly is uh, the empty marketplace. Uh, we found that uh, a lot of empty marketplaces on the market charge a lot of fees. Uh, for example, the blur, why, why it is so hot recently and why it can beat up uh, OpenSea very bad because it charge less fees for, for, for trading, right? So it's more trading friendly uh, marketplace. And that's kind of a goal we want to achieve in, on Shardium as well. We want to build this marketplace on Shardium uh, so that uh, the empty projects on the Shardium blockchain can be listed on the marketplace and users can trade those empties with low fees and make, it, make the trading fast and affordable for everyone so that uh, the empty projects can be uh, uh, blooming on Shardium as well. Uh, it's very important and as the MT is kind of trend in the next few years, if you, you know, uh, keep up with the news and everything. And we can also offer N INOs, which means initial empty offerings for many GameFi projects and Metaverse projects. So if they are uh, considering building on Shardium, they can uh, launch their MTs on our MT marketplace as well. And last but not least is our launch pad. And one thing uh, about the ecosystem is uh, as, uh, as the ecosystem grows or as more projects building on uh, one ecosystem, right? The, uh, the more uh, users will come in uh, because they are attracted by the ecosystem uh, or the value drop by the ecosystem. So uh, we want to build a launch pad so that more projects, as, the, as more projects building on, on Shardium, right? When they want to issue tokens and when, when they want to raise the, the first funds or the early funds from the community, they can do that on Shardex. And it works this way, right? If a project wants to raise money, they can simply apply for it. We will review the project for the users. In other words, we'll dock the, the team behind for users to minimize the risk. And the users will need to provide liquidity uh, LP tokens, uh, which is the SHM uh, and SDT trading pairs tokens uh, to the pool. And once the uh, fund is complete, uh, the users will get the project token by the end. And the project token, and the project will get the LP tokens and they can cash out to, you know, uh, to do their businesses. As uh, it is, and Launchpad project is a very important project for our new coming system, as there will be many new projects launching on the sharding blockchains. So uh, we think the Launchpad will be the core function uh, of SharDex in the future. But uh, the, the empty marketplace, I need to mention that right now, the empty marketplace and the launchpad function hasn't launched on the testnet yet. It will be out uh, when the mainnet are, when the mainnet live, uh, because the development team is actually working on integrating those functions on our dApp. Uh, for now, you can try the bridge and also the swap. But for empty marketplace and launchpad, it is not open yet. And I want to touch a little bit on DAO. Uh, our goal is actually building a community-driven uh, project. So uh, we will, our goal or our plan is uh, we'll, like, we'll set up a treasury in the future. And part of the uh, income or revenue uh, get from Shardex will go directly to the treasury. And uh, we will issue a VE token system if you know Curve that you probably know what VE means. It actually means that when you stake your token, right, you will get a VE token as, uh, as, a, as, a, as a proof, right, you stake that token. And the, the longer you hold that VE token and the more token you have, you can actually determine uh, some imp uh, important decisions of the protocols. For example, you can actually 
uh, raised a proposal on changing the APY of certain yields of certain you know trading pairs. So within this system, we we can we have a vision that in the future the com the community will have more power on how the protocol should you know uh, should should develop. And sometimes the community can provide very good insights and opinions about it. And that's pretty much the, the functions we, we have so far or what Shadex is about. And our mission is simple. We want to provide a place where users can, you know, buy sell tokens. Uh, they can have the, a place where they only need to open one dev and they can, you know, access to uh, many functions on chain. Uh, that's the goal we want to chip. Uh, I will stop sharing right now and get back to Ash. Yash? Uh, yeah, I'm here. Just a sec. So that, that was really great. I mean, you guys have a lot of functions already. And... Uh, uh, that this is something uh, great to see that one particular dApp having a lot of uh, products inside it so that people don't have to go to uh, multiple places and uh, and as of now as you mentioned you guys have uh, a dex live and a bridge live right and uh, other than uh, other like the other features are still being worked upon yes uh, the, the marketplace and launchpad is are still under developing mm -hmm. uh, for the bridge and swap. Uh, you guys are already, you know, uh, can experience it and test it out on the Liberty, Liberty testnet. That's great. So I think uh, since you guys, uh, since you already mentioned a lot about the products and, uh, you know, uh, with, with so many products comes a, a huge responsibility as well, right? So can you tell me about the team that's building uh, Shardex? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, so briefly share uh, about our team. Uh, at, the mo at the moment, we have 15 people in our team and uh, six of them are uh, kind of on the operation side and the rest of them are on the developing side. And the core team is actually based in the Singapore and some other members are working remotely. We have members in India, we have members in Hong Kong, we have members in Dubai. and. It's kind of a diverse team that we have, and our CEO Abo and our CEO Priya uh, had rich experience in DeFi. Uh, they had running DeFi protocols before uh, with millions of TBLs, and uh, they have very good understanding about a decentralizing uh, application and how to actually uh, building a product that an ecosystem may need. And for me, I had many years of experience in community operation. As I've said, I joined the, in the crypto space three years ago for now having served for three different projects. And one thing special about us is uh, the core team actually started this project with our own fund. In other words, we are spending our own money uh, operating this thing. We haven't uh, acquired any uh, investment from other VCs yet. Because we, uh, from our perspective, uh, since we have the, 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 the query or have the, the fund to start this project, we want to control uh, the tokens in our hands for now. Because we don't want to, you know, some VCs, uh, you know, investing in us, but they dump our token while we are launch. And that happens to us before. So it's kind of a lesson we learned. So we want to make sure uh, our project is fair enough for everyone to participate uh, even though for for the testing period we have started the airdrop uh, activities that everyone can participate uh, if you are testing you will get you know uh, some um, points and when you finish the tasks you will also get points that will kind of determine the airdrop token will issue to the users um, let me think about what, what I also want to add. Yeah, one last thing is, actually will come in more people to join our team. Uh, last night, or actually uh, a few days ago, we are considering you know, inviting some users from our community, the sharding community, to join the Shardex 
and participate in the construction uh, together. And uh, for now, uh, we will start with ambassadors and also the community moderator uh, admins, or in other words. So if you are interested in community management and you had some experience before, feel free to send me a DM and we will go through it to see if there's a chance we can work together. There's I'll get back chance. to Yosh. Yeah, there's, there's your chance. Thanks, William. There's your chance, everyone who's listening. If you guys are interested, um, you can be a part of Shardex team as well. And it, it's great to hear that so many people and so experienced people are building a product like Shardex. Uh, so kudos to you guys. And uh, uh, coming back to uh, the question side of things. So uh, would also want to know how has been the community response since the day you've launched on Shardex. Can you tell us more about that? Uh, maybe just share some numbers, maybe share uh, how has been the experience so far and everything that you can. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me share my screen again, because actually I prepared one slide. Um, uh, the, the data is not quite accurate yet, because that, that was collected last week. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, till last week, we have more than uh, 60, uh, 64, I mean, uh, 46K registered users. And we have uh, more than si uh, 6K users on, for, uh, on Twitter and also on Discord, and more than 5,000 users on Willis. So kind of explain what the, it, it means for, uh, user, for one user to become a registered user, they need to collect their wallets. They need to at least complete one trade. They need to link their Twitter account and also the Discord account on our website. So that, that will be considered one registered users. And for getting on the wait list, you need to at least invite three users who have done the, 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 the things I mentioned earlier, which is connect to wallet, trade, or Twitter, and also Discord. So it's really amazing for for, for us because uh, that's the data we achieve in within like uh, a month plus few days um, and with zero cost on marketing. We haven't even, you know, spent any money on marketing sites. It's purely organic. Uh, and I see many people, um, many KOLs and influencers promoting for us for free. Uh, we haven't connected them, but they are willing to promote for us uh, I think that kind of tell that they are really agree or kind of, you know, they uh, they are buying our products. They feel our product is cool. Uh, the UI is clean and the experience is something they like. So I think that that's pretty phenomenal. I'll get back to you. Yes. Definitely. The number that you have mentioned, I mean, uh, acquiring 46,000 plus users in just, um, as you mentioned, less than um, uh, less than 50 days is great. So I think kudos to you guys. And when you have mentioned that you have spent just uh, zero amount of funds. So that's pretty interesting. And I have seen a lot of people already talking about Shardex, not just in the Shardium community, but on Twitter, on um, telegram and uh, and you know a lot of different places so uh, that's just great uh, yeah i have many great feedbacks from communities mm -hmm. uh, tell me that they like our ui and everything uh, that's very uh, huge uh, acknowledgement for our team uh, you know kind of push us to make this happen mm -hmm. um, so uh, when we are talking, uh, so like as you already uh, uh, already showed us the growth that you guys have had, right? And you haven't spent funds. So, but what is the strategy that you guys have implemented in the growth that you guys have right now? Can you tell us more about that so the people or the builders who are listening us can also take this approach, improvise on it and, you know, take an inspiration from the things? yeah sure so regarding this strategy uh, let me put it this way okay so first we believe that for any project product itself is the most important one like 
with the shit product, even though you spend a lot of money, like tons of money on marketing, when you bring people in, but they have suck experience, they will go out anyway. The, the user will not retain. In other words, they will not stay. It's a marketing term. Okay. Um, but so for us, we are actually focused or we spend a lot of our energy on improving our product, improving the user, user experience. I shared this earlier, right? That um, we position ourselves as a one stop desk. So we want to, so as we want to integrate many functions within our web products, uh, it's not very common uh, one that uh, doing this before. So it's a challenge for us. We need to make sure our product is good enough and the user come, they will use it for the long term. Uh, and back to our topic with the strategy. The strategy for us, the number one strategy is uh, product first. We will make sure the product is running smoothly with the best user experience. Uh, we have a very good team working on this. And within the medium or and long or short term and medium or plan, we will still focus on you know optimizing our product based on the feedback that we get from the testnet. We strive to become the best app. I mean that on Shardium during the test uh, network and also when the mainland now we with mainland launch, we wish the the user will consider us as the best app they ever experienced before as well. And secondly, uh, I think the, the ecosystem is very important. Uh, one thing that uh, we believe uh, that bring us a lot of growth is because of the sharding uh, ecosystem. As sharding uh, kind of choose the paths that differ from many, uh, I would say mainstream paths, uh, because the layer two is kind of on the main trend right now, but sh sh uh, Scaling is actually another solution for Ethereum scal scalability, right? Um, and it, it is working and we think uh, we're building on Shardiums is actually a good uh, opportunity for us. And uh, because of Shardium that we're able to acquire a lot of users at the co-launch or the starting period. Um, and uh, we believe that in the future, when more projects building on Shardium, right, because we have uh, the empty marketplace and also the launch pad, those projects will also choose Shardians to launch the MT and also their tokens, um, you know, to spread their, uh, their the spread the words of their projects. And at that moment, we will also keep a higher standard on selecting those projects to make sure the, the trust of the users will not be wasted. Uh, and last thing I want to mention is uh, externally, we have been working on something, you know, to attract more users from other chains. Uh, one thing is, I have probably shared, uh, I mentioned this, I mean, uh, we have already started preparing our first ambassador program. So the focus of this plan is to select some members of um, the Shardin community, and also Shardex community uh, to become the ambassador of Shardex so that uh, we can build the we can build the Shardex, Shardex community together. And also, uh, we want to start uh, something like, like a team to uh, um, education science. In other words, to educate the newcomers to the, to the system, ecosystem and also to the Web3 about how to join Shardex community, how to use the Shardex, the product itself. Because onboarding is very important. You bring people in and you don't know how to retain them. You know, they eventually gone away. And after we retain those users, we'll educate them and help, help them to have a better experience. Uh, and they will keep you the products. Then, last uh, point kick, kicks in, which is referral. Uh, that's where the growth hacks happening, right? Uh, like I mentioned, you with with a good product we build, right? And with the solid process of onboarding users, then those users will promote us in the word of mouth, freely. And that that's where the, the the magic of marketing kicks in. You don't need to spend that money to get them users. As long as you build a good product, as long as you you know how you know how to retain those users, they will help you to promote and 
group your your community. And that's the kind of thing I want to share. Um, yeah. Oh, but by the way, I need to mention this. We have planned to, you know, join some offline events, some international offline events in the future, um, to get brand exposure and also form some, you know, collabs with other protocols to increase our mm -hmm, protocol adapter adoption rate. That's the kind of things uh, in my mind. Uh, That's yeah. Great. Get back to Yash. That's great, William. I mean, uh, not just the ambassador. So just how uh, just how you mentioned that, you know, focusing on product is one of the key areas where you guys are focusing on. But along with that, as you uh, mentioned, that the ambassador programs and then the offline offline events. Also, you guys are looking for a lot of people to join in the Shardex team. That's a lot of things to look forward to. And I think uh, a lot of people who are listening us would be like to be a part of all of the initiatives that you are uh, looking out for right now or planning to launch soon. So, yeah, everyone who's listening us, uh, you can uh, maybe William, you can drop the links in the chat for the Shardium for the community and then people can just uh, click on it and join the Shardix community. Sure. Uh, let me send the link right now. It's a short-term link. Uh, let me... Hey, hey, uh... And by the time you share link, uh, we move forward. And uh, so we've talked a lot about Shardex and the products uh, that are coming in the future. But um, can you um, share your screen? T give us a demonstration of Shardex right now. Is that, is that a possibility? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, share my screen. Yeah, that's the official website of our uh, DAP, adex.org. Um, and once you William, get I in the... I can't see your screen if you're sharing. I I'm sharing my screen. Can you, can you see my screen? Um, no, I cannot. Okay, let me see. But everybody who's listening to us, maybe uh, by the time William is sharing the screen, you can tell us about what do you think about Shardex and have you used Shardex before? Just use the chat and I think William dropped off, but we'll wait for William. You guys can just let us know the experience that you guys have had. I'll just go through the chat by the time. Uh, also, you can see the link uh, which William posted. You can join the community, be a part of uh, Shardix community. Yes, definitely education is a great way to move forward. That's where the awareness comes from. I'm rejoining now. Can you see my screen? Um, yes, now I can see your screen. Awesome. Platform looks great. Yeah. yeah. That's the official website of Shardex. And after you visiting this website, you can, you know, see some um, information about us. And you, when you click start now, it will jump you or it will bring you to, let me see. Oh, we have the chat. Second. I think that that's oh yeah that it will bring you to another web page which is our DAP itself it's right now in the testnet as you can see uh, there are many functions for example for example the trade uh, that campaign contains swap and also liquidity uh, for swap is very simple uh, if for example I have some SHM and I want to sh um, swap it to USDT then I just need to you know choose the token on the swap from two, right? And dial in the, the, the amount of token I want to swap. But I, I would suggest you to swap uh, a small amount as the testnet is not very stable. So if you swap for larger amounts, right, it will, it, will, it may fail. And some of the, the users in the community 
uh, re reporting this. So for your experience, I would suggest you to use a uh, lower amount, third amount, such as um, 0 0.1. And when you click swap, right, the Metamax will pop so and far. It's pending, and you will see a window pops out say it uh, has been processed, and you will see your USDT number or balance get increased. Uh, that's kind of a trade process. You see the confirm confirmations. And also liquidity. Uh, for liquidity, basically, basically means that you are providing LPs for this trade. Let's say uh, when other people want to swap from uh, SHM to USDT, right? They need to have a pool with these two tokens. Now they, they were not able to complete the, the exchange or swap. That's how AMM, AMM works. So uh, for us, if I don't want to swap, I can just you know provide liquidity. Uh, I need to have both of the token, for example, USDT and SHM. When I have a similar amount or same value of two tokens, I can just hit supply. It will you know create LP tokens. You can then put the LP token in the farm. You know, to to yield some SDT token, which is our native tokens, uh, as a reward or income. That's how people actually learn, learn money, earn money, uh, in these decks, uh, by, you know, providing LP to to the pools, and then stake the LP into, uh, these yield farms and help them to generate incomes or a passive revenue. And another thing is about our bridge. Can okay, nice. I? So th that's our bridge. Basically, uh, when you connect wallets, you see uh, many um, the chains that you uh, that is available, right? Uh, from Ethereum to buy a BNB chain. A Phantom, Avalanche, Polygon to shard in. Right now it's zero for uh for the first few months it will be zero fees. Uh, but now you need to have a SPT token, uh, SOPA token, to be able to test out this function. Okay. Uh, and another last last thing I want to mention is our reward system or our reward um activity. We just uh, switch to. You notice that on the top navigation bar is a rewards bar. If you click that reward bar, it will bring you to the reward page we have, which is um, this one. And on this page, uh, basically it's a, a pre-launch activity for for Shadex. Uh, you need to refer three people to claim the Sobang token. And once you get, get a Sobang token, you will uh, be on the the waiting list, and the more tasks you complete, you will get more points. Uh, and there will be some tasks regarding, like, related to uh, interact interaction, such as swap, uh, bridge tokens, or provide LP. And it's all happening on testnet. So it's basically free, uh, but by testing our app and provide uh, valuable, you know, feedbacks, and also help us grow, you will be able to get airdrop in the future. And that's uh, very similar, uh, very simple. Step one, connect your Twitter, connect your Discord, you invite three people to connect Twitter and Discord, then you will be, you will claim a Soban token, and the Soban token will be issued um, automatically, which means that you don't need to claim manually, it will send to your wallet address after you meet the requirement. Some users uh, in the community are asking why didn't I you know, receive the Soban token when I complete the task. Don't worry, it will be issued later uh, automatically, so you don't need to worry about that. And once you claim your Soban token, you will see your rank right here. And the more people you invite, 
you will get more share points. Actually, there is a notification for you as well. The more people you invite, the more people you share with, with them about Shardex, uh, the more share points you will get and the higher rank you will be. And that will bring you uh, more airdrop in the future as well. So that's basically a couple of the functions we have. And uh, on, this, uh, on this part, you will see uh, some of social links such as Twitter, Discord, Medium, Telegram, and uh, official docs. And I will just go through the official docs as well uh, because the, there is everything you, you need to know about Shardex, right? If you don't know or if you want to study it, just go to this page. It will have every, every, every information you need, like our mission, our roadmaps, how to claim the airdrop, how to get started, like connect to wallet, etc., and some you know explanations about our functions, etc., etc. So that's pretty much uh, about our products so far. Uh, we are still in the Liber Liberty uh, 2.1 network uh, because the uh, Civic uh, network is not very stable for now, but we will uh, deploy our Civic, uh, I believe, in one or two weeks. Uh, very soon and please stay tuned uh, on our socials we will announce it immediately when we complete the deployment uh, and that's uh, all for the product demo uh, thank you josh uh, yash uh thank you so much for taking us through the product demonstration and uh, i really like the reward feature that you guys have so a lot of people can go and just check that out um along with that uh yeah looking I am super excited to test you guys on Spinks network so once the network becomes stable that's the time um, excited to excited for it um, so yeah uh, that's about it um, just wanted to ask you one more question that is related to the mainnet so how excited and how prepared are you guys for Shardia mainnet or is there something that you guys are still working on or you're just ready to go yeah that's a very good question um, um we we are actually very excited and fully prepared for the mainland uh in fact um our expectation for sharding is very high as said right um the sharding uh is kind of different from other solutions or in terms of scale, scalability and on the one hand the background of the team is very strong on the other hand uh, we see the narrative is very promising uh, and maybe a good lead for the next next bull run. Uh, and that, that is also why we choose building on Shardians. And the faster the main end goes live, the more confidence actually we will have on building this blockchain. Although there's, there are still some, you know, uh, minor problems, I would say, on um, the current test network. But we are actually communicating with the Shardin team uh, very uh, closely about this issue. And we believe these problems will be solved uh, in the main network. I mean, in the main network very soon. And that which will be, bring a better user experience uh, and a smoother user experience, of course. And uh, one thing I would say is uh, we are of experiencing the node staking and I want to touch on that as well. Uh, the nodes, running nodes on Shardian, uh, we have been uh, deployed the, the nodes on the new test network as well and we have provided some feedback for the team. Uh, they have actually uh, responded and provide us solutions actively so we have uh, very, we are very confident about the Shardian team and Shardian blockchain. We also earn some SHM, of course, has uh, no income, uh, which is very good. So we are also very looking forward to to become node runner or running our nodes uh, while the mainland launch and continue to form this collaboration uh, with the Shardin Network. And so that's pretty couple thing I want to touch. Get back to Yash. That's great. That's great to hear that you have already started running nodes on Shardin. So what what do you like? What, what's about you? Have you personally run a node, or it's just the Shardix team? Uh, I or like I said, the, me personally, I didn't run the node, 
but as a team, we run no together, uh, and we feel the no income is pretty good. Uh, so if you guys, if, guys, if you are considering running no, please try it out on the test network. Yeah, there are a lot of people who should who are here right now, and they should be uh, running the nodes. So. Yeah, that's that's about it. I think uh, thank you so much for taking us through the Shardex platform, taking us through everything, and uh, making time for this session, William. Thank you. Can I just shout out one one last thing? Definitely. Okay. So uh, I probably mentioned this, uh, but I for I, I don't know, but I wanna bring it up again. Uh, as I've said, the the product will be our core metrics. So we will launch another activity soon uh, in March uh, regarding the interaction uh, of our products or product, te product testing. And we will reward these users with uh, more points compared to the first uh, activities we have. Um, so the good news is if you are listening to this, Make sure you get back to Shardex next month and complete uh, this task, new interaction task. Uh, you will get a lot of share points, which will be, which will bring you to, to higher rank of the waiting list. Um, yeah, and that's the thing I want to mention. Make sure you claim your Sobang token because if you don't have Sobang token, your share points will not be recorded. Okay. Um, that's the thing I want to mention I lost. Uh, yeah. Cool. Thank you so much, William. I think most of the people already uh, are in line with uh, what you just mentioned. Uh, and again, uh, thank you so much, William, for joining in. Um, thank you so much to everyone. We had more than 100 people listening to uh, DAP library this week. Uh, so that's a great feat as well. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in another episode of Tab Library next week. Till then, uh, have a great day. And again, thank you so much, William. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Have a good day.